under, well, quote-unquote orders from the Church of the Holy Pyre under Heribald. Um, he did, you might need to adjust your, your, uh, oh. <laughs> voice activity. <laughs> or reposition your, if you have a condenser mic, make sure you position it upwards towards your mouth and away from the keyboard. I mean, it, it is as much as it can be. Uh, but I'm, I'll stop typing. That's fine. Under the, these orders from Heribald, you made your way into the bowels of Polythreme. This tunnel system that stretches far beneath the city, that is technically off limits. Smugglers use this tunnel system to carry stolen goods. It's a popular hideout for thieves. But there are all manner of things that lurk down there, one of which you encountered. As you happened upon a part of the sewer system and the large drain within, some of you were suddenly pulled down by a chameleon hydra that had made its lair there amongst some ruins that you're not quite sure what they used to be. After that, you made quite a big discovery as you finally made your way into the basement that happened to be Easterville's secret research laboratory, hidden far underneath the city even hard to access, even if you know the way. You evaded the trap, and inside you found her notes. And what she was planning, what she was researching. And this is where we left off. Hey, Becca. Yes. The um, uh, chef items that we found, those were from the Griffin saddlebag, right? Yes. Okay. No changes to them or anything like Nope. Okay. I put, um, for the rest of everybody else, I put those on the drive if you wanted to look at them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, I also have a question. Are uh, Davis and... Uh, Immortal. While there is little known about the mortality of Devas. Hmm. He would at least live. Inside beyond. the garden, you've not ever experienced any of them aging or dying. But, yeah. well, outside. Just trying to figure out how interested I am in immortality. Everyone should be interested in immortality. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to make it your main focus, but... Yes, I mean, kind of being... Yeah, <laughs> I guess being interested in... <laughs> All this music, man. Dark basement. <laughs> With you in the basement also still lingers Brago. Wow. And you were wow. deciding what you were to do. Your immediate orders from Heribald was to burn the place down. You've retrieved the notes for yourself and I believe it was Abram's plan to hide the box that harbors the secret quote-unquote mm. ingredient to the research. Look, we could move it off to the side somewhere where we could get a hold of it later if we needed to, if it, we couldn't really move it out. 
Um, or we could just bring her back. If we think we can do that without drawing too much attention. I mean, I've got it wrapped up in my cloak and I'm carrying it like a sack right now. At the same time, that entrance was a little... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't the most discreet place. So we could bring it just back to quartermains. I, 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 this is not a question for me. I, I don't know. But if you mean Brago? Yeah. Oh no, not Brago. <laughs> I, there's nothing that we can do about him. He's yeah. just, we can set the place on fire. It's not going to affect him. No, we want to make sure that, like, I don't want the cage to like melt during that fire because I don't want him to just run around freely I guess so how do Reasonable we do this suggestion. we could just kind of light the fire up here in the front and like collapse the entrance it's pretty much the same how would we collapse it um I mean I, I mean it's just rock. I think we could probably chip away at it, and the fire would melt a little bit. And... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, that, that would definitely work. We could definitely uh, get what we want out of here, and then uh, prepare the place to just go up in flames, and collapse the pathway up behind us. Okay. Just going to see if I can't get a few more of these books in my bag. Uh, what do you think, Catherine? Take the cursed blood back or, or not? I'd rather not leave it here for someone else to find. Well, certainly, but we could also hide it down in the ruins or take it all the way back to quarter mains. Well, someone prefer... already found this place once. If we leave it down here, then they just might... Someone else might stumble across it and then no one will know what, where it is. Hey, that's possible. Also very possible that someone could get wind. Well, I mean, they do know the, the, the cleansers do know we've been down here, so wouldn't be unreasonable if they were interested to look at quarter mains if they were going to. Also, maybe they're just waiting outside to welcome us, and if we have certain items right. with us. That's a good point, actually. We should check the entrance in either circumstance before we all roll out there. Yeah. I'd prefer to bring it back to court to Mains or even the order. Either one. Let's not leave it down here. Court to Mains makes more sense to me. Well, fair enough. Are we ready? To this, then. Yeah. Are we ready to uh, pack up and Let's see about this door? What does this look like? The entire basement seems to be hewn blocks of gray, dark slate. Give me an intelligence check. <laughs> How close to the 20? Three? <laughs> I mean, you've never really heard of... I mean, you've heard of stone melting, but would this oil be enough? You're not quite sure. It would probably take a bit to, like, cave these walls in, and... I don't know, maybe you could just barricade the door, I, I guess. Um, I don't know. 
does anybody know about uh, b b burning things and barricading doors? I don't know. You pile up like the bookcase and burn it. Maybe that'd be. I don't know. The intent was just to destroy uh, whatever was down here. Uh, that's probably going to be, the, the, as far as the cleansers are concerned, if they tried to go back and check, what they're going to make sure is that anything that's burnable was burnt up. Uh, so that's what they're going to be looking for if you're trying to make sure that our tracks are covered. Well, There's right, things but... that aren't going to be destroyed by just that alone. Um most I think the, the point was also to not let them be able to get in and see Brago here just hanging out. That's easily explainable if we played as advocate creature, strange creature, thought it would burn up. True. Who would assume otherwise? I mean, best would be still that they wouldn't find them in the first place. Well... He could try and move him somewhere, but that seems a hefty cage. Yeah, that's why we're trying to, like, get the entrance to collapse somehow. Alright, so we could attempt to burn things up, just in case they came to look further, and in the meantime try and collapse the hallway on the way out. Sound, Flame sounds good. normally requires a sufficient amount of oxygen or air continue to burn, even if it is the cleanser oil, I would imagine. At some point in time, it's going to put itself out after we barricade everything, but it should do a sufficient amount of damage to say that anyone would assume that we've given it our best go. Mm -hmm. Sounds sounds good, man. Uh, Begar, can I take a look at the hallway outside of the room and try and find, like, any uh, key points, like, just kind of, like, going around with my tools and, like, tapping on different things like that to see if I can find any, like, specific points that, like, oh, like, these are, like, weak points that could potentially cause a collapse. Give me an intelligence roll. Strike intelligence? Yeah. Oh no, no good. Uh, that's gonna be... A seven. Well, um... There's no real weak points. The tunnels outside are made up of relatively loose dirt and rock so any sufficient force could probably cave in some of it but you don't particularly see any weak points or any easy way to do it If we came back another day, I could probably, if I spent a night thinking about uh, working on a couple of different devices, I could probably create something that would take care of it, but not today. I need some time. <clears throat> I certainly wish that Cannon had another shot. Oh, I just turned it to dust? Oh, but if you, like, turn to dust a part of the wall, that maybe makes the rest collapse. Fair. But yeah, it's, uh... So, could it... Couldn't you reload it somehow? Uh, 
that's going to require uh, a bit more magical effort than I have access to. Hmm. The, uh... It was essentially containing an essence of magic. Which is extraordinarily interesting, but uh, without uh, being able to replicate that magic, there's nothing to contain. Hmm. So should we just like pile everything up here, kind of in front of the door and set it on fire and hope it does something? I mean, we could definitely just take a couple of swings. Uh, uh, whoever felt like it uh, at uh, whatever's in the hole on our way out. But yeah, otherwise just pile up whatever we can find and we'll set on fire whatever we're leaving behind. Oh, all right. Just like go over here and start gathering flammable levers. Okay. To put you in, make it in front of the door. Right in front of the door? Okay. I guess, like, drag the table around and whatever else. I feel like that should be our campaign motto. Just set everything on fire and leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember because I've lost my notes from last session. Do we just have the cleanser oil that we had left over from last time, or did they give us one? He gave you a full container of it. Okay. I mean, for this to catch fire, you probably won't need the whole container. <laughs> true, true. We'll just um, give everything a good dousing, see how far that goes, and uh, give it at that. Do you spread the oil over this pile of flammable material, or anywhere else as well? Mm, probably primarily over the material, but over anything else that, like, splash it on um, uh, Brago and stuff like that to, and the, like, different equipment pieces um, or Brago, just to at least make it look like we've given our best effort. Okay, uh, so you spread it around, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Poor pig. Poor Brago. I like Brago. Hmm. Let's keep Brago it like the pet. Yeah, just how? I don't know, tame him. <laughs> I want to roll on animal and just kidding. Animal hand. Spread around the oil until there is none left. Yes. You've doused this place as well as you can and it stinks to high heaven of this oil. Right. Well I and probably suggest that everyone needs to keep a good distance away. And I'll make our, I'll make my way at least a bit down the hallway. And uh, probably a, is it a straight hallway from this doorway? Yes. Wasn't it a crossing like? So we way, way, back, way back. Also, like set it on fire and then close the door. Well, I was going to keep a good distance back and I could set it fire from there unless you wanted to get up and close and personal with it. I'll just, like, hide behind the door and you set on fire and I'll close it. By all means, go ahead. Oh, wait. Is the door a push or pull? Well, if, if you look at it... Oh, there's the door. Yes, Crap, the door. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Looks like I need Freddy again. Alright, never mind. I'll just, uh... Good old Freddy. Good old Freddy, yep. I'll summon up the Unseen Sir... Wait, how long far can I... 60 feet? Yeah, it's okay. So I'll summon up the Unseen Servant to be ready to close the door. Before he melts. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna pull out my little stick. And my new nifty little stick and give a point in the direction once everyone's ready. We're all good, right? No one needs anything left behind in there that they really desperately wanted. We could still change our mind if we wanted to. Nope. 
Nope. All right. I will shoot a firebolt into the room. And you'll have your unseen servant closet? Yes. The firebolt hits the stack of books and wood. And immediately, the entire room is consumed by flames in monstrous fashion. You barely manage to see the door close shut before you feel your unseen servant vanish. The heat that suddenly emanates through the corridor is immense, as if you're standing right in front of a blast furnace. Around the edges of the door you can he see heat. The very stone begins to glow, and you hear horrifying squeals. As Brago burns up, and the entire room turns into a cremation chamber. The door itself slowly begins to glow, the very stone starting to slowly melt to slag. The heat inside the tunnel rises as well. You start to sweat. It's almost like an oven even in here. I'm all walking away. <laughs> Do you Slowly look back to watch, or do you just leave? Nah. Cool guys never look back and watch explosions. They just walk away. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What is that? Light cool? shimmers behind you, throwing a shadow in front of you as you leave. And it doesn't take you long to round the next corner and leave the basement behind in its entirety. We probably free Drago and Brago anyway. Could be. So uh, we should go check that entrance and everything before Catherine walks up there with that box. Right. Yeah. First, we need to get around the water. Oh, well, keeping track of the directions, work on navigating our way back towards the entrance where we came in. Please don't jump into the hole again. <laughs> I didn't jump. Well, uh, I feel like I the other is You return to the place That's... where you first entered the bowels. A curious thing that you notice on your way back is that those rats that stood there, frozen, as you pass the same place, they're not there anymore. Wow, oh, that's weird. Hmm. You ascend the ladder. The crate above is still shoved to the side. A little bit pulled inwards, as Catherine did before she descended. But you can make your way up there. Let me maybe check first. I don't have anything important Lord. with me. Give me a perception check as you go. I'm gonna have or tell like Catherine that we should kind of like stay back towards a bend, just in case there was someone up there. Yeah, that's a fair. seven. <laughs> as you climb up, there's not much you can see actually in in the star galley. You see the the boxes around that were there before, but I guess I just go out there then and go yeah. to the entrance of the alleyway. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go back and uh, tell the others that no one's here. In comparison to the odor that permeated the bowels of Polythreme, especially the part of the sewer system, it's almost the kind of nice to be back up in the lower district, despite the still somewhat rancid air around this area. Alright. We'll make our way up then. Go to me. 
But, uh, suppose we head back to court remains at this point. It's late, right? Yeah. With all haste, yeah. Tell Kieran to keep an eye out on things as we make our way around. Please roll me a 1d20 as you make your way back there. Eighteen. Okay. The way back is long, and Catherine, you feel paranoid at times, as if people were looking at you or the chest, but you keep telling yourself, obviously, they can't know. And slowly but surely, you make your way back to Quartermains, up the chain lift, and as you walk along the familiar road towards the manor, you spot an unfamiliar figure standing at the side of Quartermain's main gate. The livery and color of the armor in uniform are easy to identify. The figure's bulky size becomes even more apparent as you come closer. In front of Quartermain stands a guardsman of Polythreme. He appears to have already spotted you as well, as his shrouded hood follows you, slowly approaching. How far away are we? Around 30 feet. And he already spotted us, right? Yeah. His gaze seems to be following you. Though you can't quite tell. Maybe we should just go past and, like, use the back entrance and just pretend we don't belong here. Sure, like it's too late for that. Can't hurt to try. No, I don't really think just it's Just passing by, whistling. <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> come close to him, he holds up one hand. Hail, Quartermain's crew. Is there a problem? I am Captain Hest of the Polythreme Guard. Your request to a visit of the observatory has been approved. Oh. oh. With that comes a binding contract of non-disclosure of the observatory's whereabouts. Along the path, wards are placed that will confuse your orientation and memory of the way we will take. Regardless, you should realize, should you realize its location, the contract may hold you to secrecy. I understand you have just returned. If you require rest, take it. I shall await here for 24 hours. Oh, we've heard about this guy already. Cool. All right. Thank you. That is very kind, yes. Thank you. Cool. So we kind of have to pass this guy to walk in. Um, can we g examine him a little more closely? And up, as I pass him, I'll just give him like some kind of soldier greeting. Um, how do you intend to examine him? Is there anything in particular you're looking for? I mean, the hood up is a little suspicious, so as we near him, can we can, like can I look up into his face and see anything? Yeah, give me an <laughs> give me a regular perception roll for that. Eight. As he is a good amount taller than you, you have no problem just looking under the hood and. Looking straight at him as you pass by, he appears to be wearing a helmet that is fluted in the front. But as you look at him, you also notice him looking directly back. And through the fluted helmet, you see the glimmer of eyes. Okay. 
He's got eye. He makes no effort to move as you pass him by. Even as the last of you enters, he doesn't seem to leave. Catherine, I was thinking we could uh, move that up into my room might be the best. It's uh, easier to keep an eye on it there. Do you promise not to open it for now? I promise not to open it. That would be a bit foolish at this point in time. Good. All right. Also, let's let's see what Kara is up to. If she's feeling better. I hope so. Yeah, she looked terrible. Man, I really didn't realize that flying was gonna. Oh, I feel so bad. So I'll uh, bring up the box. Evelyn's room. Yes. Um, Monk. Um, I'm just looking for Reginald right now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> just follow the crunching noises. Uh, the, the, the... Yeah. This carriage. Did, him? <laughs> did someone <laughs> steal him? He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> the carrot yeah. master got him. Revenge for his children. <laughs> so where is this Samantha? I thought she would take care of Kara while we were gone. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Her whole arrival was rather sudden. Yeah. Not not unwelcome, but certainly sudden. True. We could probably just set it over here, Catherine. I've got a bunch of other containers of various bits and bobs from where well, I'm working on different things. It'll probably blend right in. Alright. It's off in the corner. And corner. <laughs> Alright. Command word. <laughs> on, why did Reginald came out of my room there? Right there. <gasps> I saw that. Dang. Dang. Reginald's up to something. <laughs> no, he's sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been sleeping in the bed? And you'll find like carrot shavings in your bed. <laughs> Reginald just really likes cats and he thinks you're his pet cat. You find <laughs> carrot ends that are lying around. Does Reginald have golden locks all of a sudden? <laughs> She opened her door of her room's party so that just smells like alcohol just on the bed. Dang. Kara? Yeah. The shutters of the room are still closed and the smell speaks for itself. It looks different from the last time you checked. Someone's definitely been around and at least tried to make some order. Are you alright? Yep. Yep, I'm fine. I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about the... doing that with, with such short notice. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, what time is it? It's past midnight at this point. H have you been in here all day? Uh, yeah. uh, have you had anything to eat all day? I think so. I remember eating carrots. 
Um, is is there anything uh, we could do right now for you? Or, um... Do you need some water? She like tries to stand up and almost stumbles. Oh, well, well, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's going on? You don't look fine, to be honest. Um... What's going on? Uh... We found Isterville's secret basement. With a, a box full of bad. And her research. And there's a man in front of Court Mains that will take us to the observatory within the next 24 hours when we choose to and I think he's going to sleep out there oh he didn't seem to care to move he has insomnia <laughs> So Maybe he's a vampire. Oh, that would just have been a nice layer to add on to all this. <laughs> um, just like, looks at y'all standing in front of your door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been out for days. Oh. Really Give or take. Well, I'm, I'm much better now. I think it was two. To be fair, they also weren't here for most of that time. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't have been uh, down for the entirety of that period. Yeah. Well, are we going to the observatory right now? Um, I mean, it's past midnight. Maybe you should get some sleep first. I, yeah, I think the rest of us need a little bit as well. I was gonna say, you should probably get some rest. Say the people that are like scratched up and wounded. Yep. <laughs> Did you get in a fight? You look horrible. A hydra tried oh. to eat me. Yeah. A hydra? Where the hell hydra. did you find a hydra? The sewers. Yeah, down on the owls. There's no hydras in the sewers. That's ah. kids' tales. No, don't sneak up on me like that. Well, th that true, Reginald. <laughs> that true. I remember telling that as a child. You know, the the wizard that flushed the baby Hydra down the drain <laughs> oh, the blows. Now it lives in the sewers. Uh, you've got quite the sense of humor. Story is true. Mm. All stories are based on some truth. Stories of, I, I feel like a wizard wouldn't get rid of a baby hydra, there's so many more applications, the story doesn't make sense from... from what if you had so many hydras that... that there were too many hydras? To take oh, care well, of? Well, you could still... Ki kill them, skin them, and there's no reason to put it in the sewer. Just a waste good material. It's not easy to come by a baby hydra. Not by a long what could time. you do with a baby hydra? Oh, Spell-wise. Well, Ingredient-wise. Oh, spell-wise there's a few applications, I suppose. There's a lot of uh, material components and in, in spells that require bones of magical creatures. Uh, Hydra would certainly apply to them. I'm gonna go I've see actually that. heard of... Uh, Aristocrat uh, having a pet hydra before didn't end too well, but well, I, I, I bet it was uh, it was fun while it lasted. 
I'm gonna go see if that guardsman wants to come inside. At least offer him some food if he doesn't want to come in. Yeah. Pardon me. Yes. Do you require anything? No, I was wondering if you would rather come inside while you wait. No. Okay. <laughs> Do you, would you like some food? No, thank you. Okay. Would you like some blood? You forgot to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a vampire? Who is your monster? <laughs> what is your real name? What does Tuples do? Okay. <laughs> ask him a bunch of questions to confuse him. Quick. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> What's your mother's name? I always get some. I'm colorblind, thank you. <laughs> what? So that's my favorite color. Alright. Uh, so anyway. So I get off to bed then. Are, are you sure there's nothing we can do for you? Uh, Me? Kyra? Oh. I mean, you sleeping alright? Or I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm completely fine. You should get some fresh air in here. It's important to get back to health. I'll just go over and open a window. <laughs> I'll open the other window. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look much worse than I do. Alright. I'm also gonna knock at Ablin's door. Do you want a lullaby? <laughs> no, I know it's a uh, pretty... No, thanks. <laughs> All right, I Boo! <laughs> I wanted to hear a lullaby. <laughs> oh no. Um, uh, uh, yes, come in. Um, hello. She's just settled down in the midst of all of the notes and books that she's gathered and is just working her way through them again. Um, would you mind doing something before we go to sleep for me? Uh, uh, sure. What's that? Not nothing too bad. Um, and he. Uh, brings out the potions he he just took with him randomly from the laboratory. Five potions from Isterville's secret lab. Um, that, yeah, we're standing there on the table. And I have no idea what these are doing. Maybe you could help me out with them. Of course. I'll push aside some of the papers for a moment. And then work on ritually casting identify <laughs> on each of them. Fifteen minutes. Each one of these <laughs> bottles contained space ingredients for potions and from the list that you'd received way earlier at the manor you can clearly tell that all of these ingredients are part of the augmentation ingredients as in ingredients that soften up the person's uh, vitality so the potion can apply well. Right, so it looks like these are mostly just potions that were a, a base of a potion, not actually much that's going to do unless you're looking to make it easier to uh, have your body adjust to something else. Uh, or a body 
uh, but it's it's more about probably what they she used uh, to get uh, uh, Bogar. Bogar, I think. Um, uh, her experiments probably were used. She was using these to help ease along the combination of the blood curses. Mm -hmm. I see. So nothing really that might help us during a fight. If you were to use them yourself, you could use them as some blood thinner or to increase blood pressure, but whether or not that has combat potential, well. So, so you wanna you wanna keep them then? Because I don't think I have a reason to keep them. Uh, of course, it could definitely help with working out the key to figuring out exactly how to create recreate this cure. Okay then, I'm gonna leave them with you. Thank you for the help. Anytime. Now she's immediately back in her notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll just leave her room. And go to sleep. Okay. Evelyn will probably spend a little bit longer just kind of working her way through notes before eventually falling asleep where she's sitting. Okay. Give me an intelligence roll. Great intelligence, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm. Oh, better. Uh, that is going to be a 22. The basis of Easterville's research is certainly there. And you spend some time understanding the main concept of it. However, you also notice that some key components of that research are missing. Most notably, the formula she'd used in her final concoction. She must have kept that for herself, perhaps out of this very reason, not to leave notes behind. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything else anyone would like to do before settling in for a long rest? Ooh. I want to draw the Hydra in my notebook. And also Brago. Okay. Poor Brago. I think I'm just gonna start recovering from being eaten. <laughs> Bending the clothes and such. Probably go down in the kitchen and just eat something. <laughs> yeah, you grab some stew from the kitchen. <laughs> of course it's stew. Just sitting on the floor in the kitchen, eating cold stew out of the pot. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> you all take your long rest. And, uh... Kara, you wake before everyone else. The rest of them, in fact, sleep close to noon, almost. You went to bed pretty late, and you've been quite tired. Is there anything you'd like to do before the rest of them wake up, or are you just waiting? Uh, 
probably just eat breakfast and take a shower. Okay. At around noon, the rest of you start slowly waking. You know that you've slept long. Ooh. 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 Actually on. Mm-hmm. Knock, knock, knock. Um, yes. The boarding. Oh, is it the JoJo desk still? Mm. Yes, just going through paperwork. Right, just does his usual cleaning up thing. Mm-hmm. Prepares a new outfit so you don't wear the same thing three days in a row, that kind of thing. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is gonna just kind of meander over to the box holding the car's blood and just study it just study the box okay just looking to see like if you were to open it what would be the best way to open it without causing whatever like <laughs> if the very like essence of the box is it just a simple hinge is it look like there's some sort of contraption for extracting something in the box or just you know studying the box not actually trying to open yeah. it just studying it the, the box itself is clearly enchanted mm-hmm. making it extremely resilient to all things and uh, it's obvious from the hieroglyphics in the front that it requires an arcane incantation to unlock Ooh, then gonna try and identify the box and see if that would help give me any insight. It certainly requires you to unlock its arcane lock, otherwise the box is simply magically reinforced. The key, however, eludes you. It's almost as if the spell itself is encrypted in a way. Puzzle. Oh, I was going to suggest before we go out, we should check with uh, Reginald, see if he has some type of safe or vault or something, rather than just leaving it in the room. Um, I suppose, although that would generally be the first place you would look for something important, wouldn't it, you think? Well, yeah, but it would take a lot longer to get in. Presumably. We, we could check. I don't mind keeping it here either. I mean, I'm just thinking there are windows everywhere, you know, so. I'm, right, right, uh, obviously. I Wait, well, I'll ask Reginald. Reginald, in fact, in the library. Yes. Say, uh, Reginald, good morning. Oh, good morning. I was wondering, is there a, a vault or a safe room here that we could store things in? Well, I mean, the entire place is kind of a safe room. I mean, there is there not enough storage in the uh, in the workshop for you? Oh no no certainly there is. It was just uh, one of the things we'd retrieve seemed particularly sensitive. Well, we could uh, we could possibly put it in the uh, boiler room or uh, or the, the freezer. <laughs> freezer. Ah, <laughs> uh, good 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 to know. We should definitely buy something. Uh, that's a no on the safe anyway, so... Oh, perfect. Boil the room to freeze of what kind of... Guys, it's a, it's, a, it's a cooler. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Where do we keep our fish? I'm just just imagining sticking it in the kitchen cooler and <laughs> a with just accidentally <laughs> guessing the combination. Oh, what's this? Some kind of new. <laughs> Uh, wow, it's some weird foot. It's, it's cook it. strange as well. You've never ever heard him mention the freezer before. You didn't in fact know that you had one. So, oh. That's a good point. Secret room. I mean, look in the kitchen. There's this kind of thing where you could probably go into the cellar. I don't know. Now that you pointed out, I am kind of curious, because he did say freezer. I mean, I'm not there. I'm still in my room, so... No, it's on the Say Aleth is... Uh, no, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how's everything going, first off? Mm, you know, around here? It usually goes, I suppose. But Reginald hasn't been too much trouble, and everything's been alright? No, no, it's been quite fine. Very good. Uh, have you noticed something that you would describe as a freezer? A, a what? Yeah, that's that's what I just thought. Like something to freeze things? Yeah. Maybe? No, no. Huh. Is it just the, like the regular kind of cool room and stuff down here? We have a cool room? I mean, I mean the like the, the storage is there. yeah it's it's you know cool and dark is what I mean yeah. Well yeah I mean it's not that cool to be honest. Oh. <laughs> kind of lame. Yeah. This is just the box. What's this thing? Well, well I mean it's probably trapdoor. If I pull on it, does it open? I, I like I pull on it. It does not. It seems not. <gasps> Secret! Oh, God. <laughs> Reginald is the end boss after all. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Secrets reveal. Uh, has Reginald opened this for you? No. I figure it's just storage down there. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Right. Some kind of magical freezing. What the is this guy? I'm just like mumbling. Is, is Catherine here? I'm probably heading down. Oh, hey, Catherine. Hey, so, side tangent, but have you ever heard of a freezer? Uh, maybe vaguely. It was just something Reginald said. And at first, I thought he meant like just the cool room, but then he like, he actually said, all right. Hang on, I got some things to track down. <laughs> Reginald, what's a freezer? <laughs> well, I mean, that's where, you know, really cold room, ice, that kind of thing. And you have one of these? Is it the trapdoor down in the kitchen? Uh, no, trapdoor is the boiler room. Why? Did, did you something wrong with boilers? I don't think so. In the boiler room, it's for like heating, is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what's this freezer? Well, it's the opposite, I suppose. <laughs> Make things cold. <laughs> I don't understand the questioning. Book should not learn it. He doesn't know about it, so, so where is it? Oh. Well, you must have forgotten them. Well, it's in the it's in the other corner of the of the kitchen. Would it be just unlocked all the time? Well, no. It was probably locked. And I think the cook had one. Oh God! H had a key to the <laughs> to the lock. Oh, so it's the cook after all. I mean, where do where do you store meats? Probably in the coldest room in the house. Oh, I dust ate of store the meats. Do you so? Do you have a, other keys to the boiler room and the freezer and everything else? Uh, yourself? Well, sort of pats himself up and down, 
suppose I find a master key or something. The cook loses key then. Right, yes, the cook lost his key, not you lost the cook and then I hired another one. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll go looking for that key for <laughs> Okay. Oh, Reginald. Oh, Reg. Uh, I'm gonna check a Salazar. I'm not in my room. I'm standing in front of Kara's door and knocking. <laughs> I want to see if she's yeah. doing. Yes. Um. Hello, Kara. I just uh, wanted to check on you. If you're oh, feeling you're like you, up. if you're feeling like you're up to traveling with us again. Yeah. Yeah. I feel much better. Thanks. Oh, very good. Do you know where Samantha went? You know the doctor that took care of you. She's not here anymore. I haven't seen her. She was here just yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't know where she went. Hmm. Well, I didn't oh. find the spare key, but found the master key, but. Obviously, have to be quite careful with this one. It shouldn't get into any other hands. If someone makes a copy of it, they'll have a free reign of the house. Oh, uh, do you mind giving this uh, to me for a moment or two? For sure. Just uh, remember to put it back. And where does it go? Well, it goes into every lock in the house. Oh, I mean, when, I, when I'm done. <laughs> oh. Uh, Where would you like me to put it back? Just uh, keep it. In my room, I suppose. Oh, okay, very well. Ma'am, would you mind making a copy of this thing real quick? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let me take a look at it. I will... Take a look at the key and see if it's something that is magical or if it's just needs to be duplicated mechanically. So yeah, apparently, it's incredibly mundane. Okay. Perfect. Pa apparently, there's this magical room that freezes things inside it, and then there's, well, a standard boiler room, it sounds like. But I had um, never heard of this freezing room thing. Or maybe I, I had take a look at it. I'll uh, see if I can make a copy of the key. Do I need to roll for that? Or just make a copy? Um, it's easy enough. It's a regular mechanical key. Okay. I will hand both back over to Rhett. Uh, here you go. Perfect. Where, where did you say they go? Um, some freezing room inside here or something, and then some boiler room, which, I, I mean, I assume is a boiler room, but I'll check. Reginald thought that the cook had a key, but, the, you know, the cook's not here. The box probably is still best in your room, I guess. I don't know. Probably. Um, I'll just give the box a nice little pat. Would the two of you like to come see some magical freezing room? Um, sure. Sounds handy. It, it does. Oh, if Reginald's still here, I'll just hand him the key back. No, oh, what's this then? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> right, back in your room. Uh, I'll just put it back in his room then. Why is that D footage? Right on top of the desk. Okay. Just so it's like obvious. Then I'll go downstairs if the other two are ready and try to find this magical freezing room that I've just heard about and is exciting. Yeah, you go into the kitchen. Okay, other side. This is a box. Um, let me look around in here. 
Is this in fact? Give me an investigation roll. Alrighty. <laughs> Very good. Can't find it. Here comes the net one. Oh, it could be a zero. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a seven. Oh, wait. An investigation. It's, a, it's, it's an eight. Because I'm a bard. Ooh. Hurrah. Uh, well, it's it's kind of hard to see in here. There's no windows. There's little light. Um, kind of try and feel your way around, but mostly you just bump into crates and, and barrels. And then there's this just array of dried herbs and and other vegetables strung up at the back. Oh dear. Have you seen any other trapdoors around here? Other than the one behind me? No. Apparently there's some of the trapdoor trap in here. Yeah. Yeah. Some freezing magical room. Okay. Um, is that the <laughs> freezer yeah, that you were talking about? That's... I, I know. Soleil, do you want to check for trapdoors? I'm going to unlock this one and just double check it. It is actually a boiler room. He said it was across the room from this other trapdoor. I don't know what that means. You hear a loud click as you unlock mm -hmm. the trapdoor. Kind of poke my head in. What do you see? There's a ladder that leads down. Oh. Oh. Look at that. And then Good. you come down into the boiler room. I have light today. Hooray. Curiously enough, as you look towards the boiler, the furnace set into it seems to be lit a flame but you're fairly certain that no one's been down here in a while kind of look around does it look like anything's been moved recently at all not at all on the contrary everything seems to be caked in a light layer of dust and cold Well, he is a wizard, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know these things. <laughs> well, that's weird. It's somehow hot and warm and still on fire, even though it looks like no one's been in there in forever. Okay, but it's a boiler room. It is a boiler room. Did Reginald say anything where the other trapdoor is supposed to be? It sounded like a cross from this trapdoor, but I don't... Cross from isn't really... I'm gonna yeah, check the corner. What are you guys looking for? A trapdoor in here. Trapdoor. And not this trapdoor. This is a boiler room that's has a magical boiler, perhaps? Yeah, it seems like there's only this kind of shelf at the back there, Soleil. And from you look from from from, it, from that corner, uh, the other guys can hear. Uh, has anyone checked the storage room? I mean, I bumped into things, but are these windows on the wall? Yes. I'm gonna look out a window. Is there a trapdoor outside? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna check the storage room then. Give me an investigation room. Oh god, investigation. <laughs> Why? This was an unexpected quest. This poor dude's just standing outside like... Alright. I wasn't <laughs> expecting the side quest today. No. <laughs> Eleven. You have nothing on your investigation? <laughs> no! Okay. Look, intelligence is not my first. I mean, you too, you sort of. It's a little <laughs> bit less 
just bumping into things. You sort of feel your way around a little bit more gracefully, but you too sort of reach those hanging herbs and kind of get lost in them, and then you, you trip. And you feel a very cold draft somewhere on the floor. Yeah, um, Red and Catherine can can hear his voice from inside the chamber. There's something cold in here. Well. <sighs> something. Do cold you in do here. you guys have night vision or oh, dark yeah. vision? Look because around. you can see Soleil on the ground there, <laughs> just crawling around and. <laughs> some, oh uh, something Elith steps inside with a lit candle. <laughs> Suddenly, the room seems a lot brighter. Oh, and thank right you. Right next to you, on the ground, you see another <laughs> trap door with a heavy lock in front. There How it did is. I missed that. All right, all right. Key. Well, I don't know what freezing room means. We might want to step back. <laughs> I'll open it and step. I step behind Aleph. You lock it and. Nothing happens. I crack it up. You open it and nothing happens except for this cold draft that rises towards you. Whoa. I guess it's safe. I, I'm gonna go down into the freezing room. You step down the ladder, and, well, it's ice cold down here. This is definitely the freezing room. On the opposite side, you see massive sheets of ice cut into square cubes. There are some drains in front of them as they seem to slowly melt. There's also a bunch of crates and barrels down here. You can tell from looking at the food that's arrayed on the shelves. This stuff has been down here for a while. Most of it is caked in a thin layer of frost. What? Wow. Uh, say, the, uh... Send Aleth and anybody else that wants to come down, down. Well, yeah, also send Aleth even if he doesn't want to come. <laughs> I want to see this. I see. Apparently, we did have a lot of groceries. <laughs> Is that ice? <laughs> yep. But it's... Like, that doesn't fit through... How nope. did he get these down here? Well, he is a wizard. I don't know these things. I suppose. Are these, like, shelves right here? It seems like a staircase that just ends in wall. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Right. Reginald is well, that's weird. Strange man. There are stairs that go into a wall. Oh, that sounded. What? That sounded bad. Okay. Everybody I hope you're all right. Over Fine. What? I just knocked over something. Oh something. god. Something. That uh. sounded like your whole desk was. No, 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 no. I had um. Uh, like a, a, a cool room divider behind, that I keep behind my desk, and that's mm -hmm. And other stuff. Well, it fell over on top. Now the room is not divided anymore. Okay, you, 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 feel free to take care of that, because that Yay. sounded like a lot of things <laughs> falling. Yeah, oh, well, I'm listening. At first, I thought it was like a sound effect. <laughs> I was like, what did I just do? 
the wall caves in. <laughs> Best sound effect. What do you mean, what sound effect? <laughs> hmm. Was DDD supposed to be playing something? I didn't hear anything from DDD. I know. No one did. That's the problem. Just make the sound effects with your mouth. I never liked DDD. Fuck you, DDD. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds pretty much the same. <laughs> as it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I suppose I, I have to get rid of all the stuff and at least, I mean, I can replace the fresh stuff. It'll save me some trips to the market. Don't have to get things fresh if I can yeah. keep them this cold. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back up, because I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna catch cold. What do you uh, see down there? Cold. Very cold. That's why I'm not going. Eh, it's not that bad. I'm gonna shoot it, but not lock it. I'll just leave that unlocked, I guess, if that's okay with you. Sure. Uh, maybe I should ask Reginald actually. I'm kind of that's suspicious of where is he? I don't know. No, Reginald. Mm, at the third road of. Third oh. route of 27 is no, actually, I don't know that. Yeah, that is, what, no, we're talking about an actual route. Oh, you know, for, um, for alchemy. So I found the freezer, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah the freezer. What, what, what about it? Is there a reason that it's locked? Uh, well, no, but cold on there. I don't want yeah. anybody. Getting down there, not going back out. Is it okay if we leave it unlocked? Well, if you're careful around it, sure. Okay. Are there reason for the stairs, like, in that room? No stairs? Not in the freezer? That, like, go into the wall? Um, no. I don't think so. Okay. How did you get the ice in the room? Uh, I don't remember. It was some sort of spell. I may, may have written it down somewhere. You want me to go look for it? Um, no, that's alright. I just wanted to make sure. That we, it, if we can use it, uh, I don't know what I'm asking. So it, it's generally safe to use if you're careful and you don't like get stuck in there. Well, yeah, just don't get trapped in there. You'll, you'll freeze to death, you know. Right. Okay. And you don't remember there being stairs in the room? No, no. well, let's. Unless you mean the ladder. No, nope, I don't mean the ladder. Up and down the ladder to get in. Right. I mean that, like, it's. Are there tunnels outside, underneath the, uh, the the manor, or anything? Well, no, that's only. I mean, the whole build thing is built on on the disc. The only thing that's under the disc is the lower district. The lower district, right, right, right. Oh, I'm so confused. I suppose you could call them tunnels. What was that? Well, I suppose you could call those alleyways down there tunnels. It's, you know, alleyways and it's in the dark, but... Mm. <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> 
it seems safe to use, but be careful to make sure you don't get stuck down there. <laughs> Which you shouldn't if I don't lock it. Uh, I don't know what this place is. If we ever wonder where Adolf is, immediately let's check that room. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly this... you spot him in the middle of the ice cube! Ah! Oh no! So Catherine, until the others are ready, you want to play a game of dragon chess? I do not know how to play that. Well, I can teach you. Uh, okay. <laughs> you play for money? No. No, I, I, at first I want to teach her, I guess, for okay. playing for money. <clears throat> it's quite complicating to learn, but you at least uh, teach her the basics. It is now early afternoon. See, and this is the ferry. This can uh, move on this space, on this board and can move over to this board, but only can move so many spaces. Right. <laughs> then there's the dragon. It can uh, start here on the sky board and can move to the ground board, but can move... Ready to get going, headed out to the observatory. I found, I found the uh, freezer room, by the way, man. Oh wait, she might still be cleaning up. Yes. She typed BRB. Okay, we take a five minute break. I go to the toilet. Oh, I'll be all right. <laughs> oh my god, the cat of the planet. Ah, wee wee. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wee wee. Oh, oh wee wee. Oh, oh, oh. Wee wee, mon chéri. Si. <laughs> yes. So, Hest, about the blood you wanted, um, I have some for you. And I push Catherine to him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the vampire at our door. We don't know he's a vampire. He could just be a very pointy teeth boy. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> nah, dude, he's just misunderstood. I have no evidence. But I just know. It's still a better love story than Twilight. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, look at Rat and Ablin. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, whoa. And I mean, look at Reginald and his carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Let's get some of the character.